So for our inspiration for today, this comes to us from Loving Kindness, the book by Sharon Salzberg. Since we are in our Meta in May, our Loving Kindness practice, I thought it would be appropriate to share from the wonderful Sharon Salzberg. So in this passage in our book, she says, we reflect on the good things we have done. Recollecting the times when we have been generous or times when we have been caring. Perhaps we can think of a time when it would have been easy to hurt somebody or tell a lie or to be dismissive. Yet we made the effort not to do that. Perhaps we can think of a time when we gave up when we gave something up in a way that freed our mind and helped someone else. Or perhaps we can think of a time when we have overcome some fear and reached out to someone. These reflections open us to a wellspring of happiness that may have been hidden from us before. Contemplating the goodness within ourselves is a classical meditation done to bring light, joy, and rapture to the mind. In contemporary times, this practice might be considered rather embarrassing because so often the emphasis is on all the unfortunate things we have done, all the disturbing mistakes we have made. Yet this classical reflection is not a way of increasing conceit. It is rather a commitment to our own happiness, seeing our happiness as the basis for intimacy with all of life. It fills us with joy and love for ourselves and a great deal of self-respect. Significantly, when we do metta practice, we begin by directing metta toward ourselves. This is the essential foundation for being able to offer genuine love to others. When we truly love ourselves, we want to take care of others because that is what is most enriching or nourishing for us. When we have a genuine inner life, we are intimate with ourselves and intimate with others. The insight into our inner world allows us to connect to everything around us so that we can see quite clearly the oneness of all that lives. We see that all beings want to be happy and that this impulse unites us. We can recognize the rightness and beauty of our common urge toward happiness and realize intimacy in this shared urge. If we are practicing metta and we cannot see the goodness in ourselves or in someone else, then we reflect on the fundamental wish to be happy that underlies all action. Just as I want to be happy, all beings want to be happy. And this reflection gives rise to openness, awareness, and love. As we commit to these values, we become embodiments of a lineage that stretches back through beginningless time all good people of all time have wanted to express openness, awareness, and love. With every phrase of metta, we are declaring our alignment with these values. So that's our inspiration for today from Sharon Salzberg's Loving Kindness.